Hello, as of when I'm filming this video, I've got some sort of really nasty infection. I don't know if it's flu or whatever, but um, it's been making me feel pretty terrible and it feels like somebody's shoved sandpaper in my throat when I try and talk. So this isn't going to be a very long video, but I thought it would be an interesting one to bring up the subject of um, diseases spreading and how, you know, if there was something really serious, although I've sort of talked to this subject before, how it might be very hard to prevent it spreading. I was thinking maybe we could come up with a list of some of the ways a disease could spread to look out for. So, the most obvious is obviously human to human contact, either through sort of bodily fluids or um, airborne, uh, depending on what type of thing and how it's spread. If you're close enough to somebody and they're breathing on you, or yeah, there's a bodily fluid sort of situation, then that could obviously um, cause it. But then I was thinking about what would be like even more you know, like, ways it could happen, obviously germs could um, be spread onto a surface and then if you touch that surface and touch your eye or mouth or something you could probably infect yourself, but then I thought maybe it will go a bit deeper than that because couldn't it be possible that, for, for example, cups and, um, like, uh, cutlery, you know, things like that, um, plates, cups, cutlery, uh, so crockery and cutlery I guess you'd call it, um, could there be a risk factor there? Whereas if there was a very potent, you know, disease that was hard to kill or something like that, what if it got spread on, the germs got spread on to, um, you know, eating and drinking utensils, and then, um, you know, you um, get infected that way, which I think could be a highly likely scenario. Um, you know, especially if you're washing things in your house, and you're trying to, um, you know, because regular dish soap doesn't really have any sanitizer in it. Um, so that's all those sort of things. And I was also thinking of things like, you know, car door handles, things like that would probably be somewhere you know, just regular door handles for um, buildings. Obviously a lot of people would touch those. And if you go into like public toilets, um, where other people have touched the um, taps or whatever, that's why a lot of them use sensors now, or touch the hand dryers, whatever else, you could pick up germs from there. Then you've also obviously got the risk of animal to human contact with some diseases. So obviously rabies is quite a famous one, but there might be other diseases as well. Animals could carry and spread to human through close proximity, but you, the animal wouldn't show signs of having it. So that could potentially be very dangerous. So, as I said, this was quite a short video just simply because obviously it hurts me to talk, um, but I thought it would be quite interesting to go over this. Um, as I've said before, probably the best thing you can do, and um, I really wish I'd keep meaning to get some of these, are those little pocket, um, you know, loads, they're like gel, um, like the rubbing alcohol hand sanitizer gel stuff, and the little bottles so you can keep one in your pocket. Then if you go out to a public place and you're worried about, you know, getting infections from surfaces or whatever, um, you can put a bit on your hands after touching them, so you've always got a place where you can clean your hands, because obviously just rinsing your hand under a tap isn't necessarily going to get a lot of the bacteria off of it, especially if there's not soap nearby. So, maybe that's given you something to think about, it's given me something to think about when I got ill, because I obviously don't know how I've caught it. Um, you know, so, just something to think about, really. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching.